Hello everyone. In our previous video, we have learnt in detail about real numbers and their decimal expansions. We know that there are basically three types of decimal expansions. One is the terminating decimal expansions. Another is non-terminating repeating decimal expansions. And there also exists non-terminating and non-repeating decimal expansions. So now let us learn how we can plot any number on the number line if its decimal expansion is given. As always, we will do it with the help of examples. It will help you solve any question related to this topic. So let's get to it. We will begin with the example of a terminating decimal expansion. Let us take the number 2.345. So this number, if we have to plot it on the number line, first what we will check is where does this number lie? Right now we can see integers on the number line. So this number must lie between any two integers. Okay, so what we will do is we will consider this number up to the first decimal place. Let us take 2.3 initially. Forget 4 and 5. We know that 2.3 will lie between 2 and 3 because it is more than 2 but less than 3. So what we will do is we will magnify into this portion and we will divide this portion into 10 equal parts. These 10 equal parts will be marked as 2.1, 2.2, 2.3 2 and so on up to 2.9 and then we have 3. So why are we dividing it into 10 equal parts? What's the purpose? Okay, we had considered 2.3 because we wanted to consider up to the first decimal place. So we can see 2.3 over here. but we are again dividing into 10 equal parts because when we consider up to two decimal places, we again have to see that in between which two numbers does 2.34 lie. So that is why we are dividing this into 10 equal parts. So we know that 2.34 will lie somewhere between 2.3 and 2.4 because 2.34 is more than 2.3 and it's less than 2.4. It's the basic concept of decimals. So again what we'll do is, we will magnify this portion between 2.3 and 2.4. After magnifying it, we will divide this portion into 10 equal parts and we will mark it as 2.31, 2.32, 2.33 and so on. So here you can find the number 2.34 which you wanted to find in this step. But is it the number which we actually wanted to find which was 2.345? No. So now how we will find 2.345? Okay. So now we will consider up to three decimal places which would include the entire number and we will guess where does 2.345 lie. Okay, 2.345 must lie somewhere between 2.34 and 2.35. So what we'll do is we will again magnify this portion between 2.34 and 2.35 and then we will divide it into 10 equal parts. We will again number them as 2.341, 2.342 and so on. So now can you spot the number which we wanted to find? Yes, 2.345. There it is. So how did we find the number? We followed the same process for each step. We zoomed into the part where we thought the number would lie. And then we divided that part into 10 equal parts. We marked those parts accordingly. Just what we did is, with every step, we kept on considering a decimal place more than the previous step. This process that we saw right here is called the process of successive magnification. This process helps us to visualize decimal expansions on the number line. And with the help of this process, with every step, we kept on getting closer to the number. So this is how we locate a terminating decimal expansion on a number line. But what if we are given a non-terminating decimal expansion? Is it possible to find such a decimal expansion on the number line using this process? Let us take the example of a non-terminating decimal expansion. Let's say 5.33 and we will see if it's possible or not. 5.33 and so on. It's a non-terminating decimal expansion, but it is repeating. So what we'll do is we'll again consider only up to one decimal place, which is we will consider 5.3. You can see integers on the number line. This number must lie between any two of these integers because it is not an integer. So 5.3, we know that lies between 5 and 6. So we will magnify this portion and then we will divide this part into 10 equal parts. We can mark these parts as 5.1, 5.2, 5.3 and so on up to 5.9. 
So 5.3 you can see right here. But is it the number we actually want to find? No, it's 5.333 and so on. So now what we'll do is we will consider up to two decimal places, which is 5.33. 5.33 we know will lie between 5.3 and 5.4. So again, we will magnify into this portion and then we will divide it into 10 equal parts. We will mark them as 5.31, 5.32, 5.33 and so on. Okay, you have got the number that you wanted to find in this step, 5.33. But have you got the actual number that you have to find? No. And it's not possible to find the exact location of this number. You may argue that if we move forward with this successive magnification process, we will find the number. You may try it. And trust me, even if you keep on continuing this process for the rest of your lives, you will not find the exact location of this number. Yes, with every step your accuracy would increase and you would come closer to the number but even if you perform billions and trillions of steps, you won't reach anywhere close to the number because it is a non-terminating decimal expansion and there are infinite decimal places in this number. So for our convenience what we do is that we find this number up to 3, 4 or 5 decimal places and we can do it using the successive magnification process as we saw it in this example. So now we will just go through an example of a non-terminating, non-repeating decimal expansion. It follows the same process of successive magnification but just like a non-terminating, repeating decimal expansion, we cannot find its exact location. So let us take the example of pi. We will find pi on the number line. Pi is an irrational number and its decimal expansion is 3.141 and so on, which is a non-terminating, non-repeating decimal expansion. So 3.141, where shall it lie? Obviously it would lie between 3 and 4. So we will magnify this portion and divide it into 10 equal parts. We will have 3.1, 3.2, 3.3 and so on. Now, two decimal places, 3.14. 3.14 will lie between 3.1 and 3.2. So again, magnify this portion and divide it into 10 equal parts. You will get 3.11, 3.12 and so on. So here lies 3.14. Now we have to find up to three decimal places, which is 3.141. 3.141 will lie between 3.14 and 3.15. So magnify this portion, divide it into 10 equal parts and you will have 3.141, 3.142, 3.143 4, 3 and so on. So here you can spot the number 3.141 which is the decimal expansion of pi up to 3 decimal places. If we had moved on further with this process, we could have find the location for more decimal places and with this we could have got a more accurate answer. But it is pretty irrelevant to keep on finding the exact location in the case of non-terminating decimal expansions. So in this video, what we learnt is that the decimal expansions of real numbers can be plotted on the number line using the process of successive magnification. In case of terminating decimal expansions, we can find the exact location of the number on the number line. But in the case of non-terminating decimal expansions, we won't be able to find the exact location of the number. Yes, by finding up to more decimal places, we may increase the accuracy, but we will never reach to the 100% accuracy. So this was all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Happy learning.